Tina, when the consultants and myself first discussed um, using halo gravity traction as a form of treatment for Harley scoliosis, what were your initial thoughts and how did you feel about it? Well, it was a bit of a shock because um, we were just thought initially thought it was the rolling rods that was getting put in, so you're just getting your head around that. Um, then obviously we come back with the halo, which I asked all of three doctors which would be the best route, and they all said to go with the halo, that's going to give them the best outcome, less pressure on the growth rods. So basically, I just had to go with what they wanted. So after the discussions about the halo traction, um, when you and your family and Harley had a chance to look at some photos of it, what were, you, what were your thoughts then? How did it make you feel seeing photos of what this was going to look like? It was nice to actually see another little boy who'd gone through it. Um, and to see him smiling was the best part because you knew obviously he was comfortable, he looked happy and even the, I can remember the last word in the paragraph of the, what the prayer and said and said that they were worried but they were pleased that they did it which to me that was amazing because you need to see what, like you need to see what it actually entails and then when you've seen a boy that's happy actually gone through it all I just thought no this needs to be done. So once Harley had been at the theatre I mean, had the halo applied and came back to the board, I can imagine it was probably quite a shock for yourselves to see it. Um, so what were your initial thoughts? How did you feel when you when you first saw Harley attached to this? Just making sure that he was okay. Um, he was a bit upset, obviously, in a bit of pain, uncomfortable. But as the days went by, he, he picked up and it was amazing to see after, I think it was literally about three days. And he's got his smile back, he was eating properly and he was just back to his normal self. So it's been four weeks now that Harley's been um, having this treatment, which is a long time. Um, what have been the worst bits of this um, for your family as a whole? Again, just all being separated, but we get in there. I mean, we've all quite a small, little, tight family, and everybody's been rallying around, helping them, and coming in, visiting, making sure he's all right. And, just really without that support I think it would have been a lot tougher but then obviously you've got the support in here of the nurses and the staff which they try to make his day as best as they can I mean he doesn't like teaching obviously but he has to do schooling um, they, and they have let him have his Xbox in um, and just basically the Wi-Fi as well if it wasn't for that God I think he'd have had a meltdown but yeah he's just, he's just adapted so well to it and I think that's what happens isn't it kids do they just get on with it and he's been fantastic. Hmm. And what would you say have been the most difficult bits of seeing Harley on the traction and what do you think Harley's found most difficult throughout this time? Just at first, I think it was the headaches, the first couple of days, um, but obviously to give him pain medication, it did help. Um, and just the not eating at first, that was a bit difficult, trying to encourage him to eat certain foods because of the vibrations of the halo. But obviously after a bit, he just, he just, picked up, we encouraged him to eat the food and then he started, which was a lot better. He had more energy then as well, which was hard for him at first, but like I say, he just, he's just whatever he's, you've thrown at him, he's just smashed it all, he's just gone for it. What would you say have been the most um, positive bits of the whole experience? Seeing the traction working, viable by his x-rays, because obviously you go years, I mean, he's gone from age of two wearing jackets all the time, um, to braces and then obviously you see the x-rays itself the one from July till now and you just see the improvement it's a lot straighter more longer and even his even Harley seen it he was just over the moon when he seen it he knew then it's because you can see something visible rather rather than this you see the x-rays which was fantastic he was even over the moon with them we've never seen anything as good for years really <laughs> Harley, if you can remember back um, all those weeks ago when we met in pre-assessment and we were talking about the halo gravity traction as a form of treatment for your scoliosis, um, we looked at some photos uh, of a little boy who had also um, undergone this treatment. How did you feel at first when you saw the photos of what it was going to look like and what, how it was going to be? It made me feel more confident to do it and, like, not more... Not like let's go to the What were your biggest worries? What made you most scared about it? Being like able to eat and 
walk around and sit and everything. So Holly, when, when, we were, when we had first discussed this treatment, what were your biggest concerns? What were you most scared about and worried about? Eating, like, doing really big stuff like all of us would do, like just normal stuff. So like basically sitting, walking, doing, like going walk around somehow. So what's kind of been your daily routine um, most of the days while you've been here? Getting up, getting ready, brushing my teeth, go, in the go into the chair, then the teacher comes and then it's basically just repeatedly doing it. What have been the worst bits for you, Harley? Like the most difficult, hardest bits of all of this? Eating, um, drinking, walking. Walking's been alright. Um, eating and then just start picking up. What was difficult about eating? You would feel the vibrations of the hill. And how did that did that improve? And if so, how yeah. did it get better? Over the days, me mum and dad were encouraging me to eat like hard food. So then I did it, and then that's when I, that's when the vibration stopped. And what about sleeping? I can imagine that getting to sleep um, isn't very comfortable having this on. How have you managed that? Well, at first, at first I was only getting maybe an hour sleep, and then. I started getting better and then that's when I found like like maybe a week ago you can lie on your side when you feel like doing it. And do you find it's just got easier as the time's gone on? To yeah. Get comfortable. It, it, like once you get used to it, like once you get used to lying down and going to sleep and everything, it starts to feel, you, you start to feel more comfortable. And what about pain? Has it been quite painful? Has it has it hurt you quite a lot? For the first couple of days, and then it just starts to get loads better, like, and then you don't, it, it, you really don't feel like it's on you anymore. And what did you do when you had pain? When it was hurting you, what happened to make it better? I'd have like pain medicine and everything, like alcohol and everything. Do you feel like the times passed really quickly or really slowly? When you've been in here? For the first week it feels like slow but then it just feels like you're fl flying by. So when you saw the x-rays um, of your spine a week into this treatment, um, how did that make you feel when you saw the progress that, that it had made and how your curve had started to straighten? When I seen, when I seen the x-ray, I, I, I was just happy. And because I seen the x-rays, I knew it was working. And but once I got mine, I see I seen how well it was doing. So I I knew we were doing the right thing. They did all this way. Yeah. So Holly, if you could say one thing to another little boy or girl that was thinking about having this treatment for their scoliosis, what would you want to say to them? I would say it would be hard at first. You would, you would, might you might feel hot, uh, vibrations to eating hard food at first. You would have a headache. But then once the days pass, you would be better and you would, and you would be able to eat harder foods. And you wouldn't just, and you wouldn't have to eat like soft food, like a yogurt or something. The most positive bit is um, obviously you just if you like a kid, you not like a teenager, you can get it over with, and then all you need to do is get lengthened over and over. And um, obviously having this is making your spine better, and if. If more and more people get this, then obviously it'll be a long word, but you, it'll, it'll just be better for everyone, really. So are you glad that you've had the, uh, gone through this and had this done, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's been the best possible thing for him, really. 
after going all that long and seeing x-rays you get know, by months and months down the line, no improvement, and then to see something, it was just amazing.